Hey guys, Tampa One here. In today's video, we have one goal. Find a shiny Corsola, Heracross, or Carnivine. One of the three big regional shinies here in Florida. But we also got ourselves a goal to find some more shinies. Because we've got to keep the shiny streak of 2024 alive. We found a shiny every single day so far in 2024. And the goal is to not fail that, right? We want to do that every single day this year. But let's see what we can find today as of course, like I said, our main goal is to find those regional shinies. Now we got lucky enough to find a shiny Corsola yesterday, which was absolutely amazing. Got it off the incense, just an incredible looking shiny and I was very happy to pick it up. Would love to pick up its friends, Carnivine and Corsola, uh, Corsola and Heracross. Those are the goals. We'll have to see what happens today though. We got ourselves a doggo that isn't shiny. Now I'm gonna quit record this cluster, go to the gym, get back home, eat something, and then it's time for the full grind. But we're going to go to the gym, see if that maybe brings some gym look. I don't know. It's happened before. We'll come back to this cluster before we head home, though. Got ourselves a Spearow that isn't shiny. We got another Spearow that also isn't shiny. But there's a third bird because it's a Pidgey. No, okay, also not shiny. But yeah, like I said, we have to find a shiny today because we got to keep the shiny streak of 2024 alive. We are not failing that today. We are not trying to fail that at all this year. So that's the plan. But that looks like this cluster doesn't have anything. We still got plenty of time of the day. What are you feeling this? Oh. My head's gonna be sore in the morning. Oh. And now we're back at the mural cluster and we got ourselves an amazing cluster here to see if we got ourselves our first shiny of the day. Now we had a great workout and hopefully it means we get a great shiny chilling right here. That's the plan, right? We also got Polka Powers running. Always amazing. Stuff you love to see. Gets you the double encounter distance. Just amazing, amazing of, of uh, what's it called? Adventure effect. I'm a big fan of the Dawn Wings adventure effect as well because it's a stationary incense with tons of boosted shinies and rock rough a very sought after shiny and specifically that dust form rock rough but you guys let me know which power up or adventure effect do you find yourself using the most to be honest it's me i always use palky powers but dawn wings is coming in second right now because i haven't really been using the daily incense for extended periods of time as much lately because i have all the glowing birds i'm waiting for when we get those shiny glowing birds i cannot wait for those all three of them look amazing but we'll go and see when those eventually come to the game probably i don't know year do. We'll have to see. But we got a wind pad that isn't shiny, and we got ourselves. I don't think anything else that can be shiny checked. So let's just check the dog to double check, and it's not shiny. Let's go ahead and get to the rest of the grind. And now it's time for the full grind today, and let's drop a daily incense and see what we get on it. Because I haven't seen a Galarian bird in a little bit, so I hope to see one. But we also have a Diglett spotlight hour today, which is really fun. But I'm going to be checking every single regional with you guys, including the Flabebes, the Oricorios. I'm going to do those as well. At least, maybe not every single one, but majority of them. We're going to check them with you guys to see if we can get ourselves a shiny regional today. That's the number one goal. But let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite regional Pokemon? Is it shiny Heracross? Is it shiny Corsola? Or is it one that you have local to you and you're able to hunt it? Let me know in the comments down below. Because personally, I mean, I've been very lucky to say, say Heracross is my favorite regional. So I've been able to hunt it. But Halucha, when that comes out shiny... I'm going to be wanting to hunt that one. That's probably up there with the best regional shiny that there is. And we got a Jigglypuff that is it... Uh, Green-eyed, all good. Next clip. And there it is again. We got ourselves a Corsola. That is a Shiani, unfortunately, but we did get one of these yesterday. Just a great looking Shiani, but we're still running our daily incense. We got a Tyrant that is in blue, and we got a Remorade on the in, on the daily, which is a fun, you know, random spawn. We always love to see a Remorade, but unfortunately, this one's not purple. Now, I completely missed this Carnivine right next to it. Unfortunately, not a shiny Carnivine, but hey, always like to see the regionals. We already got two right off the bat. We got a Slowpoke on the incense. That's not a Shiani. And there's another Carnivine, so let's see if it shines. Unfortunately not. I would love to pick up one of those in the sh in the wild almost said in the shiny tony what yeah, but yeah in the wild is the plan for that one because i've gotten two from eggs from sinotaur but never got one in the wild so let's keep looking now here is another regional this one being flabebe but i still need one more of these to fully complete that line so i would love to go ahead and pick it up and we actually got ourselves an oracorio now that isn't shiny, unfortunately, but that is another regional. I do have that one, thanks to New York. Well, I did get one way before that, but I got a ton in New York. So thank you to New York for that one. And we're back again for the third time today. We're back at the mural cluster, but I mean, it's just an amazing cluster, especially with Palky Powers. You can see the amount of shi uh, shiny checks at least. And we have a regional here, but it is Maractus, which unfortunately is also a Pidgeot. That isn't shiny, but Maractus unfortunately cannot be shiny yet, but it is a Unova Pokemon, and Unova Tour is right around the corner, and I do believe it will release with Sigilith and Bufalon. Those will be the three egg-exclusive shiny releases, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Maybe we get Basculin thrown in there as well, but I think Basculin's going to be on routes. That's my prediction. White Stripe Basculin, and then the two others, and we'll finally be able to evolve to Basculin Legion. That's my prediction. That's my prediction for Unova Tour. You heard it here first. 
exclusive, Tony exclusive, but we also got ourselves a ponytail that isn't shiny. We got ourselves a couple other spawns that we'll check. But like I said, Maractus, once that releases, I mean, again, Florida's already stacked when it comes to regionals. That's gonna easily make it the best region. I mean, I already think Florida has the best regionals and I don't think it's very, very close, but once Maractus gets shiny eligible, it's gonna get even crazier, which I mean, is just awesome. But we also have ourselves two in case. So let's check those, cause you know, we haven't checked those yet. Boom, no. And here we go, we got ourselves our first Heracross of the video, but unfortunately, not a shiny one. And here goes another regional, we got ourselves a Carnivine that is not shiny. Now again, I've never picked up a wild Carnivine shiny, so if I could do that, that'd be awesome. But we got a young goose that isn't shiny. Uh, no. And today, Tornadus officially came back to raid, so let's just go ahead and take one down. Well, we went ahead and took one down with the help of some members, but let's see if it's a shiny one. Nope. And right under that raid, we actually have ourselves not one, but two regionals as I tap a Metapad, not what I was aiming for. We got ourselves an Oracorio, but we also got ourselves an incense spawn of a Benabeed that isn't shiny. I told you guys I still need one more yellow full bebe, so it would have been nice to pick it up. But we talked about Basculin er earlier, not yet shiny eligible, but the white stripe Basculin was released during Sinotor. We haven't seen it since. It's gone missing. We'll see when it comes back. And now we got ourselves a Mall Cluster, and I'm definitely going to be doing that Drowsy raid as I still need a Shadow Shiny Drowsy. So we'll check that in about a minute. But we do get ourselves a nice little cluster here with two regional Pokemon. Pokemon, which are Seviper. Now, Seviper isn't exclusive to Florida by any means, but it's still a fun spawn to see. So we'll always check it, see if it's shiny. There's also apparently a, cl uh, a Clauncher on the nearby here. So I'm hoping it pops up. I see a Corefish, but not a Clauncher. I'm hoping that pops up because I still need one more of those. So we're going to check the Spinarak. It is unfortunately not a blue spider. All good. We got a few of those during Global Go Fest, which again, I do love that shiny. Now I'm going to walk over this direction a little bit because this is the direction it says the Clauncher's in. So I'll keep an eye out for it. I don't see it. We got ourselves an Oddish and a few others, but if we find the Clauncher, I'll also let you guys know we got a Venonat that doesn't have blue eyes. Now we also don't have a shiny yet on the day, which is a little bit worrying as it's 4.30, but we still got plenty of time in the day. Hey, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not worrying. Yeah, I'm not worried at all, I promise. Okay, well, we move on swiftly to an incense spawn maybe? No? Okay, well, uh, that's all the spawns here. And here goes that Shadow Drowsy Raid. Now, I know, of course, it's not a regional Pokemon, but I would love to pick up a shiny Shadow Drowsy because I don't have one for the collection. So, please... No, okay. Well, we'll swiftly move on from it then. Now, at this exact spot, I got a shiny Heracross and shiny Vanilla back-to-back -back during the Christmas holiday season. Let's see if it could do it again. I was hoping, you know, a little two blue shinies instead of two pink ones like the Heracross in Vanilla at the time. That was my first ever shiny Vanilla. And I mean, at that time, Heracross was a full odd shiny. Now it's boosted thanks to the fact that it has a mega evolution in game. So that's obviously awesome, but no shiny chilling here. Maybe the Oddish is. Now I'll check if it's a ditto though. I'll let you guys know. And the course flows are out today. They are weather boosted, so I guess it makes sense, but I am catching all of them just in case one of them turns out to be a hundo, but we got ourselves a Trico that isn't shiny, and we got ourselves a Spearow all the way over there, not shiny. Let's check the IVs because I quick caught the course, so let's just check these IVs. PVP, it's not really useful for PVP though. Yet another course, and maybe this one's the blue one because it's next to Marill, but is the Marill still blue or is it green? Yep, not shiny. And here goes another Carnivine check, but it is unfortunately not shiny, and funny enough, there's a Marill next to another regional. Interesting. Well, I still haven't found a shiny today. I'm hoping stream provides because we start streaming in about 15 minutes. And we're going to need it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry. Are you? <laughs> I hear you if you're staying up late at night. Oh, shiny Gligar. Let's go. This is why we drop the Dawnwings incense to get the boosted shiny. So we got a shiny Gligar. Shiny streak of 2024 stays alive. Let's go. Okay, I have to catch the thing. Hold on. Hold on. By the way, going into AR mode, it's technically like an incense shiny. That was really risky when the shiny streak of 2024 is hanging in the balance. But we got ourselves a shiny. We keep it alive. Let's get some W's. Boom. Ah, it's absolutely got a Pokemon. Oh, shiny Purloin. Nice. Okay, there we go. Now we got ourselves a full odd shiny in a movie parking lot. Pretty funny because I'm going to be going and watch the Deadpool Wolverine movie later this week on Thursday when I move to Orlando. But we got a shiny Purloin in the parking lot of the movies. He's, it's apparently going to watch a movie. I'm sorry I stopped from doing that. But do you have good IVs? Eh, he's got 15 attack. We'll take it. We'll take it. And now it's time to wrap up today's video. And I can't lie to you guys. The shiny look was a bit rough today. We only got two shinies on stream and my camera 
Like, just died. Okay, well that sucks. Well, we'll do this quickly. We got ourselves two shinies total on stream. Unfortunately, that was it. We got ourselves a Gligar and a Purloin, and the shiny luck today was a little bit slow, but it happens sometimes, especially when you have a day like this, the yesterday that we had, where we had 10 shinies in a day. I mean, that's a pretty incredible day. So to you know, have a day like that, it makes sense to have a slower day the day following, but I guess it is what it is at the end of the day. At least we got shinies, right? We kept the shiny streak of 2024 alive. It lives for another day, which is, I mean, just absolutely amazing, but hopefully we'll keep this running throughout the whole year. Now we got tomorrow and then we got Thursday, the official move to Orlando. We officially moved to Orlando. Literally, when you're watching this video, tomorrow, which is just crazy to think about. So, get ready for some Orlando content. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to consider becoming a member down below because we're going to have a ton of member videos coming out once we get to Orlando. I've been kind of slacking with the member videos only because it's just been so crazy hectic with all the moving and stuff. But don't worry, more member content coming very, very soon. So, consider coming a member. Click that link in the description. Also, leave a like, subscribe on your way out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, peace.